to his village in an hour or so. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, moving on down to Adam 9, on the on citizens to ask any questions. We do have a slightly large crowd here tonight, uh, so what we need to do is more or less keep it to about three minutes per person. And so everyone has the chance to go ask the questions they want to. And if we have time after that, we'll start again. So Mr. Miller, I think you want to be first. I have a very narrow question, which is after. If you would, Mr. Miller, please state your name and address for the record. My name is Steve Miller. I live at 105 Jackson Street, which is designated as part of the Downtown Development Authority. Um, I live next door to the funeral home. I guess that's the reason why I'm in the Downtown Development Authority. I had no problem telling where the property of this business stops and where mine starts, because they have a parking lot and I have bushes and grass. My point is, I don't see why I should be in it. And I had asked the question of our city manager and he was not able to tell me that I had any hope for getting out of it. I have heard that the, uh, at least one of the councilmen wanted to have some piece of the property removed from the downtown development authority and was told that it was not possible for him to do so. I listened carefully to Mr. Plum tonight and he seems to offer uh, a bit of hope. I also read about the newspaper the past day or so. My new representative uh, gave me a bit of hope also. And let me ask my first question. Can it be changed then? Because we do not have a downtown development authority, but we do have for sale limits already. The only way if you don't wish to be in it, you'd have to vote against it. You're allowed to vote. That's the first question, and the most important. I hope it can be answered yes, no, or if it's a little murky, I'll be satisfied with perhaps. Now your question was, can you be out of the DEA district? Yes, 105 Jackson Street. Yes. I can? Yes, sir. All right, the next thing is what kind of trouble is it going to be for me to get there? <laughs> the jurisdiction in town would be no trouble at all, but we uh, have been discussing that. Well, I'm much like. Mr. Uh, Manager, did I say anything wrong about what you told me? I did not give you hope, Mr. Steve. Now, I, I, I didn't give you any hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think my answer didn't give you hope, but but no, I, the the borders are as the council sets them. I mean, if, if there are borders that need to be changed, properties that don't need to be included. Uh, that certainly is, is a decision that the council can make. And I, I hope that's what I said last there time. I, I bought it was. <laughs> I tried to live across the road on 110 West Gray Street. And uh, if he wants to be in it, I'll let him speak to you. And I'll say I'd like to put his name up for consideration to be out of it also. Okay, thank you, Mr. Well, Miller. One point I would make for clarification is that it is necessary to have an authority, a boundary. You've got to have a consistent, contiguous boundary. In other words, you can't have an individual parcel in and the next one out and the next one in. So there has to be some geographic boundary, and those that are inside that boundary would be in the district. The well, question then becomes where you draw the lines, right, where you draw the lines. But just so that people aren't misled into thinking on an individual street, one can be in, one can opt out, and so on and so forth. You must have. I don't think that would be in a problem because they have a funeral home has a nice park, a paved parking lot, and it's a private drive. 
both those things are indicated. There's no question in people's minds. Okay, thank you, Mr. Miller.